Hello, Mr. Wathi here. And in today's lab, we're going to learn how to program an Arduino. More specifically, we're going to learn how to program it to turn on and off an output. Okay, we're going to hook up an LED and make it blink on and off. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we have our lab attached here. So we click on that. You'll also be using uh, Tinkercad circuits to simulate your lab. And we have this block layer Arduino that we're going to be using for the block coding. So let's get started. So first things first. Uh, like I said, the purpose here is to be able to program the Arduino to turn an you know, output on and off. We're going to be using an LED and blinking it on and off. So we have our parts list here and we have our schematic. So it's just really simple. We have D9. Uh, we're going to be going on to a 220 ohm resistor, which leads to a LED and that goes down to ground. I also have the Tinkercad diagram right here. To get confused so let's create that so we go to tinkercad go to circuits um, by the way when you first open up tinkercad you will need to click on the tinkercad logo on the top left that brings you to your home page right here and then you can click on the circuits and create new circuit so right here if i go back to the top we have our parts list you can just type those right into the search bar if you need if you want to and we also see we have a resistor and LED, so I can just grab those right away. And we want an Arduino. And we want a breadboard. It doesn't really matter which breadboard we use. Whoops. Do, like I said, it doesn't really matter which breadboard we use. Let's do a little dance there. I'm going to use a small one. And we're going to hook up an LED. We're going to hook up the resistor. Again, it doesn't really matter which side you do it on. I'm going to put it on down to the ground side and change the resistance right here to 220 ohms. And I can change that resistance by just by clicking on the resistor and then that pops up. Make sure it says ohms and not kilo ohms because that's a difference of 1000. Next, I need to hook up my breadboard to power and ground. It's always good to, to start off doing that. We see on the Arduino on the bottom here, we have 3.3V, V stand for volts, and 5V. So we want to hook up the 5 volts up to the positive, and I'm going to color that red for positive. And again, you can change the color just by clicking on the wire and changing the color right there. And I have a couple options for ground. doesn't matter. They're all the same. And I'm going to use the hotkey 1 color it black and there I go and the last thing I need to do if I look at my schematic I want to hook it up to D9 so the D and D9 stands for these digital pins here and we see number nine right there so I'm just click right there pop it on there and we just change that to any color your heart desires let's go with blue right on so uh, the first thing I want to do here, I want to be able to turn this light on. And like I said, we're going to go into block, Blockly Arduino to do that. So the first thing that I want you to do in Blockly Arduino is click on that Arduino tab right here. And we're always going to be starting off with a setup slash Arduino loop forever. Arduino always has two, click on sunglasses, these two basic functions. It runs through the setup once and it runs through the loop forever until you unplug the Arduino. So first thing you got to think um, before we know which, you know, there's all these different categories here. Uh, we got to think, well, what, what are we doing here? Um, is our LED an output or an input? Yeah, that's right. It's an output. So I want to click on the out section and I want to grab the second block here. Okay. This will be the main block you'll be using anytime you're programming an output and I want to put it in the loop forever section and I want to say it says put the pin digital blank to logic state high okay so I'm plugged into pin 9 I want to say digital 9 right there and we have two options here high or low yeah you got it high means on low means off um, high could also mean one one high on all the same, low off zero, all the same. 
And now what we can do is click on those sunglasses on the top right, and that shows us our actual Arduino code. And we're going to click on that orange icon right there just to copy our code. Click back to Tinkercad, click on code, and instead of using their block coding, we're going to go down to text and just go continue. And what we want to do here, we want to select all this by going Control A or Command A, and then Control V or Command V for you Mac peeps. And um, we can hit uh, Start Simulation, see what happens. Hey, light turns on. Good, that's what we wanted to happen. And we could even go and test something out here. We can go to code. Um, what do you think happens if I change that to low? What do you think? Hey, it turns off because low means off. That makes sense. Awesome. So now our main, main purpose of this lab here is uh, the main challenge is to make the LED blink on and off. So let's try to do that. Okay, well, we got it to turn on. Um, let's go back to out, grab the bit digital pin. Number nine, change it to low. Let's see if this works. What do you think? Control A, Control V. Um, so it should go on off, right? Uh, not really, not really. And the reason behind that is because this loop section, the Arduino actually runs through it, um, like I don't know how many times, maybe like a hundred times, thousand times, probably thousand times per second. Um, and so it runs through it so quickly, it goes high, low, high, low, high, low, and just goes really back and forth. And in this case, the simulation showed it as on, kind of. Um, so what we need to have here is a little bit of a delay block, okay? And we can find that delay block in, you got it, the time section. And there's two different delays. There's delay in milliseconds and delay in seconds. I want you to use the one in milliseconds, okay? Do not use the delay in seconds. It can get a little glitchy. And we want to put that right there. And let's delay for, yeah, one second or a thousand milliseconds. That works. And um, common mistake is what people do. They just put one delay right there. But you'll notice if I try that out, it is wrong. Because what happens, it goes high, it waits for a second, low, and then it repeats up to the top. Low, high, waits for a second. So it doesn't even get a chance to do the low. So if we go back, let's just copy and paste this block. That's a great thing with this uh, block we are doing. If you select something, you can just go uh, Control C, Control V to copy it. Um, let's try this one out. Copy, paste it in here. See what happens. Yeah, there we go. Let me see that our LED is blinking. That is beautiful. That's good stuff. Um, I do want you, you to take a look at the text coding. We will be using that later on. Um, we see here that there's this line digital right. So that's uh, your that's your output going out. Let me see that goes high, pin nine. It's a delay of 1,000. Uh, by default, this delay is milliseconds. And then with digital right, pin nine to low, and a delay of 1,000 milliseconds. So if you found that, uh, you know, you want to challenge yourself, why don't you go on and try to add a couple of things to your circuit? Uh, maybe some ads, uh, some different LEDs try an RGB LED or a speaker or different things like that um, for different components in Tinkercad. You just type it in right here and see what happens. There you go. You have a speaker and you play around with one of those. All right. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and uh, we'll be back for some more Arduino videos coming up pretty shortly. Cheers.